Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. In case you didn't notice it, at the very end of yesterday's episode, I had a new book release, Mage Master's Book of Battle Tales, Volume 1. It contains my five first action-packed missions into Mordheim City of the Damned with the Firing Squad. You can find it in my personal warband chest. I believe you guys call that a playlist. It's named Books. Check it out, you'll not regret it, I promise. Another day is dawning in Mordheim, City of the Damned, and let's get started right away with the sweet moment after yesterday's heroic battle. And, of course, not the least, follow my personal progress as the Warlock Ranger Mage Master. And the Captain Mason Mugshot, he was honored most valuable warrior and put three enemies out of action. Incredible. He was given two advancement points, one for mental and one for martial. Nice. And Howard Howler, you stood strong and broad in that doorway. Nobody passed you. Nobody. Three even tried. You just put one of them out of action, but the work was well done. You got a physical advancement point as well, and you're probably going to be using that for strength so you can open that last slot in your inventory. Nice. And Donnie Dodger, you did a good job of being both a second frontliner and a first frontliner. Well done. This doesn't reflect your job out there, but well done, Donnie Dodger. And Teddy Toothpick, you protected the captain from that balcony. That was a good spot up there. Every shot you made, that counted. I'm sure of it. This does not reflect your good job out there. Well done, Teddy Toothpick. Well done. And Sheldon Shieldwise, what a good job you did out there again. And you did a good job with that spear and the defense. This does not reflect your job out there. And the Baron is probably to blame. But well done. Well done. And there I am, Mage Master. And look at this. One enemy put out of action. The last enemy I needed to complete my standard contract. I am now a true member of the firing squad. And I can see the captain's master plan for me. And I'll, of course, share it with you. You know that. But hey, these things are top secret. So promise me you're not going to tell the captain, okay? I could get fired for this stuff. Anyway, I got a martial advancement point as well. This is good. What a good day. And Herman Henchman, what a good job you did out there as a frontliner today. This does not reflect your good job out there either. But you got an advancement point in martial. Well earned. Good job. And Nero the hero, what a good job you did out there. And what a formidable position you found yourself with a high ground with overview over everything. And all your shots were damaging and right on target. Awesome. This does not reflect it. But good job, Nero. Good job. And we got two XP for the warband. Nice. And while the captain distributes the spoils of war and the advancements of skills, you can enjoy Mage Master's very own first-hand experienced war tale of yesterday's venture into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. And the captain has found us a normal mission today. Wordstone Rush. The gathering of Wordstone could be poor in the scavenging also. One warband deploys tightly around its wagon, while the other is divided into three strike teams. Maybe the Baron has found out that the captain is dealing Wordstone on the black market and sending him these normal missions. Hmm. Anyway, we were up against Wolves of Sylvania. It is the undead. Well, the plan is we are scattered as things are looking right now in three different strike groups. We need to gather up and the safest place to gather up is in this corner house. This is where the captain, howler and Teddy Toothpick is coming down this way. Hopefully before they can interact us. And I am going to be the sprinter. 
I'm all alone here and I need to make it fast this way. But the captain saw that something was wrong right away. It was as if his map was wrong. The map that the Baron had given him. He quickly made a reconnaissance and discovered that we were way too close to their wagon. And they were cornered. He was in the northern corner. And there was no way through the houses. There was only one way, and that was to face them straight on. But what was even more weird was that it seemed as if they already knew where the captain was. As if there was a bounty on his head. Quickly he decided to make this battle a siege. He saw that everybody was coming for his head. Everyone down the street. He would make them pay one by one. Their leader was the first. He quickly switched his weapons and prepared for the siege. Teddy Toothpick quickly found a high ground balcony with a good overview and started dealing some damage of his own. And at the same time he had the overview and could tell the captain exactly what was going on. Howard Howler quickly set up an ambush by the door. Their leader was determined to go for the captain's head, but Teddy Toothpick tried to send him a warning. He was so focused on the captain's head, he walked straight into Howard Howler's ambush and felt it dearly. He countered, but Howard Howler dodged and gave him some more damage. He tried a vital strike, but luckily failed and went into a dodge stance. We were all running like the wind. I was at the far south end. Sheldon Shieldwise was closing in. And Donnie Dodger. And Nero the Hero. And Herman Henchman. Everybody was closing in on the fortress. The plans had changed. Teddy Toothpick held off all the swarming zombies and undead. While Nero the Hero was closing in. He was gonna try the hunting rifle for the first time. A few shots may be needed before you get the hang of it. Donnie Dodger came in to cover him and made a good second front line. The captain charged in on their leader and put him to the ground. The first enemy was down. Sheldon Shieldwise set up the first front line on the incoming group. That's when they started attacking Nero the hero had his first shot with the hunting rifle, but he needs to get the hang of it before the damage will be dealt. The zombies were swarming in. Teddy Toothpick had a good eye on everything and could report all movements to the captain. But he was facing a lot of things thrown in his face. He was being vulnerable up on that balcony, but it was a good place. They were lining up right in front of him. All of them coming for the captain's head, so it seems. That's when a ghoul turned up. The captain quickly told everybody that the ghoul was someone who had an impact on their morale. He quickly changed his weapons and dealt some damage to mark him for us all. Teddy Toothpick followed up. He had a broad variety of targets to choose from, but he also chose the marked one. The ghoul fool stood right there in front of them. Taking one damage after the other, Sheldon Shieldwise set up a first front line close to the battlefield center. And Donnie Dodger followed up with a good position of a second front line. We were closing in on the house, but they were keeping the battleground. Nero the hero came a bit closer with the hunting rifle, trying to get the hang of it, just waiting for the foe. A new round has started. Teddy Toothpick was keeping them off, telling the zombie to pick up some wordstone that we could loot off his corpse. And Donnie Dodger told him to take some more for us. The enemies were closing in on the house, and Nero the hero was closing in on figuring that hunting rifle out. The captain was holding down the fort, 
but they were closing in, one by one. That's when a zombie decided to go for his head. He peeked in through the door and was welcomed by some lead and Howard Howler. But he was a capable fighter and gave Howler some bad damage. Howler counterattacked him, but he just dealt it right back. The door was now blocked by the zombies, and I finally made it up to the group and could provide some backline damage. But a battleground full of foes were between the captain's fortress and the group of us. The captain told Howler to deal with the zombie while he was shooting some more at the foul gowl or the ghoul fool just standing out there waiting for lead. It was trying to boost the zombies, and maybe even trying to get closer to us. The captain made him pay for his movements, but he continued down. So, I hit a cat. Was that a cat? I think there was a cat out. Anyway, Teddy Toothpick kept his eye on the marked one and kept dealing damage to him as well. He had a good overview position. And Nero the Hero felt inspired to find his own high ground, Overwatch stance place. He found the perfect spot. Sheldon Shieldwise engaged in the zombie right outside. We needed his wordstone, but he turned out to be a capable fighter. Sheldon Shieldwise took a defensive stance. And Donnie Dodger hit the cat. That must be a suicidal cat. Anyway, Donnie Dodger switched from a second front line to a first front line with melee weapons. Howard Howler kept dealing heavy damage on the zombie and went into defensive stances. A new round has started. Sheldon Shieldwise, our white knight, was fighting heroically, but he turned out to be a capable foe. Nero the hero had finally figured out the hunting rifle and started dealing heavy damage on the battlefield. Teddy Toothpick spread his hail of pain as well, and the captain kept a close eye. The battleground was being left by the first frontliners here, attracting all the attention. They were lining up in front of us while Howler was taking care of business. I was moving around in positions, picking out my targets and hitting them well, and switching into new positions to anticipate the movements of the enemy. They started buffing and boosting, and I dealt some more damage. He tried to jump up and attack Nero the hero, but when he saw his big, fat hunting rifle, he regretted his move. And Sheldon Shieldwise was still battling heroically. Nero the hero had now finally found his way, dealing heavy damage. Donnie Dodger participated in the engagement and dealt even more damage to the capable foe. A new round has started. Sheldon Shieldwise fought and stuck it to him and gave him a taste of the spear again and again, but he fought back and Sheldon was bleeding. I was still picking out my foes and hitting my targets and shifting positions to anticipate the movements of the enemy. They started boosting and buffing each other, but little did it help. Teddy Toothpick just put them to their ground, and the captain stepped outside and gave him some lead while he was on his knees, switched to his meaty weapons and went inside preparing for a final approach. That's when their hero went in and covered the battlefield. This was a problem. Once again, we were split. They were approaching fast, and our first frontliners were being engaged and damaged. Donnie Dodgers now had two enemies around him, and they were boosting, and they were buffing each other, 
and all the while Teddy Toothpick kept dealing damage to the stunned foe, and Nero the hero as well, hitting his target well. Sheldon Shieldwise heroically fought a very capable enemy, but took his patience, while Donnie Dodger was battling too, and one of them was as well a capable foe. But Donny Dodger swung his mace yeah. well, while Herman Henchman switched into melee weapons, left his second front line and engaged in the first battle with heavy damage as well. A new round has started. The first front line was in defensive stance, and Donny Dodger was bleeding bad. That's when one of their heroes, Stun, recovered. But Teddy Toothpick gave him a little greeting, and he was thrown something at himself. And a shot with an arrow! The first front line and Herman Henchman were fighting hard, dealing damage back and forth, dodging and defending well. And I was picking out a few targets, that's when it happened. The decisive shot. This is how it sounded on the in-game speak. They're in the way, right? Let's see, 35, 22. Let's see if we could get the... Wait, did you guys see that? I didn't even think about it. I just finalized my standard contract. I just became a true member of the firing squad. That's right, I became a true member of the firing squad with that one arrow, but no time for cheers, because their hero made a foolish move. He left the center battleground and approached us to help his zombie allies. That's all the captain was waiting for. He rushed out the door. The battlefield was open. He swift charged the weakest of them, put him to his ground, provoked the foul gowl or the fool, took some heavy damage, but paid back accordingly. And that's when he made the strategic genius move. He moved into the center of the battleground, basically splitting the enemy apart and taking over the battleground with an ambush that finally broke the it was a battleground victory there wasn't really any wordstone gathering and there wasn't really any scavenging and there wasn't really any good looting but we put five enemies out of action lost no one and the captain mason muckshot was honored most valuable warrior but i was on a true member of the firing squad what an honor the whole mission just costed 45 gold coins and overall the other war members would probably have said that this mission was a waste of time, but to me this was the greatest achievement! Now let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And there was nothing for the captain today, actually he was a bit cranky about the normal missions that the Baron sent us. The normal missions, they don't provide any experience or advancement points, really, or any items or looting or gathering or anything. It is below our standard, he says. We need hard missions, and maybe even brutal later on. But for now, we are at hard missions. At least he got two advancement points. One in mental, going for intelligence, and another for martial, going for ballistics again. And that's it for the captain. The one who did get something out of it was was Howard Howler, our big brute basher who stood in the doorway and blocked everything into the house. You see, out there we found a blue, good quality halberd. He's of course going to be putting that to good use. Nice. And he also got an advancement point in physical, and he is using it for strength to open this last slot in his inventory right down there. This is it. And there it is. Nice. He's now got six slots in his inventory that's good for looting and everything else nice howard and herman henchman there wasn't any items for you out there either but there was an advancement point in marshall and you're gonna be putting that to good use with the weapon skill nice herman and sheldon shieldwise you did a good job out there with your spear but you got no items for it and no advancement points sorry but mm. 
normal missions, huh? And Nero the hero, you did a good job as well out there. Found a nice spot to deal damage from, but you got no items for it and no advancement point either. That's the normal missions the barons are giving us. That's not good. And Teddy Toothpick, you did a good job as well. Standing on that balcony, having so many choices to choose from, and every time your target went to the target. Anyway, you got nothing. Thing. No items, no advancement point or anything. But you brought back a helmet, right? You brought a nice helmet back for Boldy's Boldy Head. Look at this. And you even got him a nice white feather. Nice. And Donnie Dodger, you didn't get anything either out there and no items or anything, but you told the captain that this maze, it just doesn't look cool standing in the first front line with a maze in your hand. You want a proper sword, so you're going to be taking the sword of enfeeblement and taking the maze away. And he gave it to me, so I am going to be walking around with a good quality maze in my stomach. And I got an advancement point. I'm gonna be using that for ballistics, of course. Nice! And I could tell you when Bonnie Boomberg, our smuggler, she heard that Teddy Toothpick brought back a helmet for Baldy Bowman's Baldy head. She told Nero the hero that she would share her helmet with him. He was so happy he went straight down to the new tailor in town and bought himself a nice yellow feather and a vest to fit the feather. Nice. Now the captain isn't too happy about all these colors, and especially yellow. He's more into camo colors. He doesn't want us to look like, and I quote, a pack of peacocks. But Nero the hero doesn't care. He thinks he looks nice, and so do I, Nero. Nice. And our captain, Mason Mugshot, is going to be using some of his unspent skill points for the shield specialist skill. And while he's gone training, he allowed me to take a look at my master plan. And of course, I'm going to be sharing that with you. But hey, you know, this thing's that top secret. So you got to promise me not to tell the captain I showed you this, okay? I could get fired, you know. Now let's take a look at the captain's master plan for... Me! There I am! Mage Master, Ranger, Hero, and Spellcaster, a Warlock, and a Backliner. Every Warband member of the Firing Squad has four personal objectives, counting the first objective as the standard contract. To become a true member, everyone has to survive five missions and put five enemies out of action. Once that is accomplished, they can progress in the star ranking system as a trooper. And I can gain a star by putting another 15 enemies out of action, making it a total of 20 enemies put out of action. And if I do that, I gain the rank of a true trooper. And I can achieve a second star by putting an enemy out of action with a lightning strike. And if I do that, I gain the rank of a Star Trooper. And I can achieve a third star and the highest rank of a Tri Trooper by casting a fireball that deals damage to more than one enemy. Now let's take a look at the specific stats, spells and skills specified by the captain for me. There are three spells, two active skills and four passive skills in all. And I will be mastering all of them. Let's start with the spells. And my first spell is Blinding Lights. I will be mastering this so I can cast it at a range of 30 meters. I can target everyone within a 5 meter radius. And it reduces melee hit, ranged hit, dodge, parry, perception and spell casting by 10%. My second spell will be Lightning Strike. I will be mastering this skill so I can cast it at a range of 30 meters at a single enemy. It deals 32 to 42 damage that bypasses the armor absorption. And my last spell is the Fireball which I will also master so I can cast it at a range of 30 meters and target everyone within a 5 meter radius. It will deal 20 to 30 damage that bypasses the armor absorption. 
Now let's take a look at my skills, starting with the active skills. My pre-made skill, Concentration, increases the casting chance of the next spell by 15%, and the next action must thereby be a spell or the effect is lost. And the second and last of my active skills is the battle plan. I will be mastering this plan so I can cast it at a range of 30 meters and target a single ally and restore two offense points that can be used for counterattacking. This is a strategic buff skill. And now for the passive skills. The first is overhead, which I will be mastering so it increases my ranged hit chance by 10% when I'm higher than my target. And my second passive skill, the Hunter, is also gonna be mastered, so after every shoot or aim action, I will receive a 40% chance to recover one strategy point. And the third of my passive skills is Quick Reload. I will be mastering this skill as well, so it will reduce the cost of the reload action by two strategy points. And the fourth and final of my passive skills is Channeling. I will be mastering this skill to reduce the chance to trigger Stench Curse by 15% when I'm casting a spell. And this is my very own and personal Warband member master plan sheet, planned out and masterminded by the captain himself. I have been gathering these master plan sheets to make my own book, Mage Master's Book of Sheets. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. And Mason Muckshot has learnt the skill, Shield Specialist Overnight, this is awesome, and we have three more days to make the Baron a little more happy. Hmm. And I can tell you that our warband cook, Perry Perry, now has a new kitchen. We all built the kitchen in the best, finest quality wood that the captain could get, spared no expense. It is a good kitchen with wooden cupboards and tables and shelves and you name it. It is the last time we eat oatmeal porridge. Perry Perry has already promised us some Eastern Asian gourmet delicacy food and it's gonna be something slushy slush, sushi yeah something with fish. He's been down at the docks trying to get ingredients all morning. I'm really looking forward to that and looking forward to my last oatmeal porridge. Awesome. And our newest recruit, Pierre Paré, has arrived. And he's brought some of his own gear, but we need to stock him up with a little better gear. So he's not coming with us on a mission today. We're just going to find some new gear for him and let him settle in and be ready for tomorrow's mission. Welcome, Pierre. And speaking of missions, here is the team we are sending into Mordheim, City of the Damned, today. And we're a war party of eight today, starting from the left. Of course, me, Mage Master, the newest true member of the Firing Squad. And our big brute basher, Howard Howler, is coming with us. Filling out any doorway makes us all feel secure. And the Captain Mason Mugshot, because we still have no one else. And our three sturdy warriors, Sheldon Shieldwise with his spear, Herman Henchman in the first front line, and Dodgy Dan is coming with us today. Our eye in the sky and the backliner is Teddy Toothpick once again. And Nero the Hero is coming with us with the rifle. So, let's go. And the captain has persuaded the Baron to give us a proper mission. A hard mission Crush their will. The wordstone gathering with savage and the scavenging is poor. Each warband deploys in a wide arc from their wagon. Far from each other. Nice one, captain. Scouts have reported a rival warband in the vicinity. Before you can find them, a heavy fog settles over the ruins. Unable to pick up the enemy's trail, your warriors deploy from their wagon and spread out to sweep the area in search of your foe. And we're in... First things first. Let's just see who we're up against here. We'll look at our map while the captain takes a look at his map and hopefully lays out a genius master plan. We're up against the Skaven. Spleen takers. Oh my god, I'm gonna tell you something. 
I had a dream last night about big ass rats. Sorry. Yeah, so I actually took a, a little potion of uh, antidote with me today. Hmm. Call that foresight, huh? I've heard so much bad about these, Kevin. Anyway, time for deployment, and let's hear the captain's plan. Okay, and I am gonna be here. The captain is gonna be here. And Teddy Toothpick. You're gonna run f You're gonna run for some high ground. Here. Okay, Sheldon and Shieldwise, you're gonna be here in the middle of the street. And Dodgy Dan. You're gonna stay here. And Nero the hero. You're gonna be here, next to the wagon, and then we need Herman Henchman, you're gonna be here, like this, and then we will have Howard Howler coming up from behind the rest of them, like right here, next to me, like this, yes. Okay, and now it's time to hear the captain's hopefully genius battle plan approach. So the plan is that we all gather up and go to this house. This is the base camp number one. We got good balconies up here. We got a good view of the direction from which the Skaven rat packs are coming running down this way. Some might come around this way. But we have a good view here, we'll see what approach we need. We have a Wordstone field right here. We have one on the middle of the street. And another one in the street over here, so... We're surrounded by Wordstone, we need to see how we can get a hold of that. Now I'm placed all the way out here, my object is to go through these houses, get to the scavenge point, and through the front door and assist on the balconies. So, that's plan A, and that's the first base camp. So let's deploy Howard Howler and see how things go. Hmm. Talking about Howard Howler, I can tell you that uh, we were uh, celebrating last night. I mean, I became a true member of the firing squad, so uh, ale and meat was on me. And this guy, Howard Howler, he's huge, but he doesn't drink that much. So after a few mugs, he started talking, and I kind of led the conversation into master plans. And uh, he basically, by the fourth mug, spilled the whole master plan for himself. Oh, and you know I'm gonna share it with you, you know that. But hey, let's not tell the captain, okay? These things, they're like, like top secret, and of course I'm gonna share it with you. But we gotta keep quiet about it, okay? We gotta keep quiet, because the captain, he's not gonna be happy. He's probably gonna fire me for stuff like that. So, I'm gonna show it to you tomorrow. You think that's a trap? We're gonna have to take the chance. It wasn't. Okay, where's the scavenge point? It's over there. Do I see anyone? I don't see anyone yet. Um, we're just gonna keep our eyes open. I got one more step. Okay. So, an overwatch stance here. Let's see. What's going on out there? Ah, oh, look at that. Nice shirt there, Nero. I really like it. And Mason Mugshot. Let's just see. You're going the other way. We need to get to that beautiful house over there. Let's just see if we can sneak our way through all of this. Okay. We don't see anyone around that corner. So I guess we're just gonna follow the captain. He's going to secure the front door. Nice move. You may be able to keep an eye on, on that corner over there. Nice, captain. You see, the captain and Howard Howler, they're actually kind of competing in getting the first star in true trooper ranking. The captain has told me that all the heroes and that 
must be himself as well. They're gonna have to put 20 enemies out of action. He's kind of competing with Howard Howler about that. Him and the captain. I like that. Ah, Teddy Toothpick. Let's see. Ah, uh, you should be able to get pretty far, huh? Can you get into the house? Nice, Teddy. Nice. Yeah. You got in. Anything? You see anything in there? Nah. Okay. So, let's see if we can, we can find a good spot for you. That's a nice one. I was gonna tell you to stand there, but you found it yourself. Good. And Sheldon Shieldwise, our white knight, aka the surgeon, right? How far can you go? Okay, you're going this way. So you could, you could probably, you know, like, go in. Yeah. I was gonna suggest that, go into an ambush stance. Nice. And dodgy Dan, let's just see. No one around the corner. The Skaven, I've heard so much about them through Perry Perry, and I don't like it. They slayed him, he put him out of action. They trampled on him, they put him on fire as well, of what I heard. And then they hurt him so much he lost his arm. Oh man, it's a sad story. I really don't like them. But I've never seen any of them. Oh, you got the rifle with you there. That's good. Oh, that's good. Taking the corner, are you? Nice. Okay. Ah. And Herman Henchman. As a first frontliner today. Taking the ambush as well. So let's just take a look here. See, we're all on our way into this house. This is nice. I'm hanging a little bit here. And Howard Howler is gonna finish this round with his turn. So let's see what's gonna happen. Because they could be pretty close already. Actually, pretty close. From what I do... They can run like the wind, these Skaven. A new round has started. Okay. They're picking up some wordstone. Okay. I'm just hoping to see them step in some poison to locate them. Let's just see. Ooh, did you see that? It was there. It was there. Oi, okay. Okay, so someone's coming here, probably coming under the house here. Ah, they are closing in. From what Teddy Toothpick saw inside the house, it didn't seem as if there was any, um, any entries. Ah, let go, coins, nice. You see, I got the antidote here. It can, it can remove up to one poison effect if we get affected by poison from these Skaven. That's what I heard they're good at, poisoning. Anyway, it's time for me. Looks like some traps are laid out right there. I'm not gonna test them. Hmm, let's just see here. Let's just see here. We haven't spotted anyone yet, but they could be here probably this turn. So... I'm just gonna have to stand here then. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. So. Mason. Let's see. You could be the first one going up the stairs here. This is a pretty good spot for an overwatch stance. And I think the captain is choosing this. That's a good spot, captain. Okay. So. Let's see what happens out here. Huh? Teddy Toothpick. You're already in. Okay, let's see how far you could get up here. Ah, that's some nice wordstone out there, I see. Let's just see if we can get you around here. Up this way. Oh, 
Yes, there's a balcony right out here. But we gotta watch out. From what I hear, the Skaven have ranged attackers as well. Ooh, see. Ah, there we have one. There we have one. And we know that there is one who stepped in something here. Coming maybe this way. Yeah, this is a good overwatch position for you. There he is. Okay. Nice, Teddy. Nice spot. And Nero the hero. Let's see if we can... Take you up the same way as... Teddy Toothpick, how far can you go? This is okay for now. We're gonna get you out on that balcony. Dodgy Dan, second frontliner today, seems. Ah, is that a straight line? Yeah, well. Seems as if you're gonna have to cover this. Yeah. The captain saw that right away. Ah, good. And Sheldon Shieldwise, if you block the stairs, we're all gonna be safe and secure. That's how we feel, I guess. Let's just see if you can just, you know, stand there and they'll all be scared, I guess. There, and turn. Nice. Okay. And Herman Henchman, are you gonna leave me out here too? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Ah, oh, you're gonna take a... Ah, nice place. Well chosen. Okay. And Howard Howler, are you gonna leave me too? You are? Okay. Ah, oh, you're not. Ah, thanks. Thanks. Okay. Well, well they are going to charge me anyway. Aren't they? I think they are. Yeah, well, let's see. Yes, a new round has a started. A new round has started. Got a report to us, Teddy Toothpick. You see any movements out there? You tell us. All right, you tell us. Okay. Let's just check in out here. Let's just see the map here. He disappeared from over here. He's, oh, he's still there. Okay, he's still there. Hmm. All right. I was not ambushed this turn. I am pretty grateful for that. So I'm gonna see what kind of damage I can deal from the upstairs balcony. Let's see. Let's see if there's any any hope around here. What about this guy over here? I don't know if there is a guy over here, but someone could come. Nope. So it seems as if that balcony, it's not big enough for three, I think. Well, actually it might be. It might be. Okay. And we can get down to these fields. That's good as well. So let's see. An overwatch stance. Right here. Ooh. Okay. So we're lining up a firing line. Trying to see if we can spot them anywhere. Nope. And the captain. You could just wait. I can tell you about the captain. <laughs> Guess who just dropped by Mordheim War Camp today? Yes. The captain's twin brother. Yeah. Mark Muckshot, you don't just drop by in Mordheim City of the Damned. This is a total other realm. But he just stopped by. I guess he heard about Nero and Pierre Paré, huh? Okay, Teddy, you could just take another Overwatch stance. Anyway, he must have heard of, about the new recruitments. So, um, let's see if uh, Mark and Mason can find out a deal. Maybe Mark is gonna be our next recruitment, huh? Mark Mockshot. Reserve Captain. Yeah. 
that could be good. That could seriously be good. So, oh, I think Sheldon Shieldwise is making space for, uh, for Herman Henchman as the other first front line. I wonder what Howard Howler is gonna do. Um, well, the captain is asking Dodgy Dan to place himself over here. Oh, this is a nice shooting line. Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay. And Nero the hero, maybe you should check out some... There's a window here, yeah. Let's just see. Ah, uh, can we see... Ah, uh, you, you, you see that? You see him out there, Nero? Why don't you see if you can take a shot out there? If he... if he runs. I don't know. I don't know if you can... You can't target him now, but maybe he gets closer. Yeah! Nice placement there, Nero the hero. Nice. And Herman Henchman, it looks like uh, Sheldon Shieldwise made a little spot for you over here. Yeah. And you got a 61% parry chance. Okay. Okay. And Howard Howler, what are you gonna do, huh? Oh, yeah. That's a good ambush spot right there. That's a good ambush spot. Oh, yeah. That looks good. That's really good. And the round is ending with you. A new round has started. Hmm. Wonder what's going on out there, huh? Let's just see. Do you see anything, Teddy? Oh, you see anything there, Nero? Nah. They have been gathering some wordstone already. We haven't taken anything yet. Ah. I don't see anyone look at that down there. It's a nice cluster and a shard. You gotta jump from over here, but this is this is really risky at this point because we don't know the location of them, any of them. So I'm not, I'm not gonna risk anything. I'm just gonna see here. He's still over here, and there's no one new in sight. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delay here, wait and see what happens. I think the captain is probably gonna delay as well. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So. We need to spot them before we can make any more moves. We're all just waiting here. But things are looking good. Even though we're just waiting in patience here. I mean, we built the kitchen today. We finished it. We even have wood left over. Teddy Toothpick. Yeah, it's a nice kitchen. Very nice kitchen. And we were talking about making a bigger barrel for our toilet. I mean, yeah, sorry. It's not nice hearing about it, but basically we just have a bucket. And we need a barrel. We have had so many new recruitments, so we need a bigger toilet and maybe even a door. But the best part is, I guess I've eaten my final oatmeal porridge. So it's going to be a proper meal tonight. We're going to have sushi. Uh, sushi, I think. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. No more oatmeal porridge. We're just putting everyone in different waiting positions, different stances. And Howard Howler here is going to end the turn. Okay. A new round has started. See anything, Teddy? You see anything? I mean, beside that nice cluster down there, that ugly skaven down there, I can see them. They're really big. Okay. I've never seen them before. Oh, man. Well, like I said, things were going good. Our water supply is slowly being filled up as well. Probably gonna be half full tonight. Something like that. Is he doing anything out there? He's taking word stone. You see anything out there, Nero? You're really looking nice there with your yellow vest. I'm gonna wait uh, to see if, if there are any other movements. Let me just see here. 
He's still over here picking up some wordstone, I guess. Let's just see how much is left. A few more. Ah, I hope you've taken the big cluster with you so we can loot it off your corpse. But I'm going to delay here and see. Captain is probably going to delay as well just to see what happens with the two last of the Skaven who have to take their turns. Mm -hmm. That was a quick turn. So, I'm going into another overwatch here. This base camp seems to be locked in some way. We're just waiting. We can do nothing here, but just wait. And we're all just taking our positions here. I wonder if the captain just wants us to stay and wait, or actually move out. I mean, this house is kind of locked. Hmm. Okay. And Howard Howler ends the turn again. A new round has started. So let's see if uh, let's see if you can spot anyone, Teddy. There was someone coming from over there, but where could they be? Anyway, like I said, our water supply is uh, almost half full by tonight, I think. So things are going well again. Uh, back home. That's nice to know. Ooh. So, you see any movements now? Is he going for that other field down there? Can't spot him down there. Captain, I think we need to make some movements around here. Is there no one over here either? No. Well, it's not up to me to decide. No, so... I am gonna delay once more. And the captain seems to follow my example. This is just patience, really. Patience. And it's my turn here, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go into an overwatch stance again here until the captain tells us to do something else. He's also waiting. Let's see. No one else. Still. Okay. So overwatch some more. It's a pity you can't reach him here. And then you probably wouldn't be able to reach him by the balcony either. Does he have space for any more? Or is he just waiting out there? Okay. Um, Overwatch. We're gonna have to see some movement. We're gonna hope to get them within reach. And the parry stance. It's looking good. From you, Sheldon Shieldwise. Your partner here on the stairs. Herman Henchman. Blocking everything. Okay, and what are you gonna do? Same? Yeah. Okay. A new round has started. So let's see if anything happens out here, huh, Teddy? Let's keep a close eye here. No. No. Listen, I got an idea, Teddy. How about you uh, and um, Nero the Hero, you switch places, huh? Let's just see. He's still out there. All right. Hmm. Just 
is gonna delay like before the captain is doing the same delay Hmm. Still no one else in sight, so Overwatch it is. I wonder what the captain is gonna do. Is he just gonna wait here? Oh, what's he doing? Okay, so he's exposing himself. Trying to lure them closer. He should be careful. Okay. Okay, guys, we need to uh, to cover the captain if they're going to come running for him now. They can sniff him or something, I don't know. So, stay alert, boys. I don't think the captain told Dodgy Dan to do anything, but it seems as if Dodgy Dan is a bit on the edge here. Hmm. They were all there last time. The firing squad met the Skaven rat packs. Stay alert here, Nero. We need to pop him as soon as he moves. I think he's the closest. Let's just see out here before we end the round with you, Howard Howler. Ah, the captain is out here. Okay. So you're gonna take an ambush here. And end the round. A new round has started. Okay, a new round has started here. Hmm. Let's see. Anyone running for the captain? Can they sniff him out? Okay, what do you see, Nero? Nothing? Ah, oh, man. We delay in some more here. You too, Captain? Okay. Teddy, we need to keep our eyes open up here. Nothing? Okay. So we're just waiting for the Captain's orders. Holding down the fort. And the captain, he's just checking the corners there. Watch for traps right there, captain. You really want to go out this far? There are no open windows up there that can cover us. Let's just take a look here, captain. This place over here would be a good spot for us, but we're going to be exposed out there in the open. Well, that seems pretty risky there, Captain. Out there all on your own? Yeah, I don't like it either, Teddy. But we just gotta keep the Captain's orders. And Nero, you keep a close eye out there as well, right? Yeah. I mean, we're all just waiting for whatever the Captain is up to. Shelton Shieldwise, too. Dan. Okay. Come on, is he just gonna be out there all alone? Herman Henchman, too. And a parry stance and, and an ambush for Howard Howler. And a new round. A new round has started. Oh man, I don't like the captain standing out there. He's keeping a good eye on everything. He's still out there. Come on, Captain, we need to do something. I mean, it's not my place to say what orders you should give. 
You should be very careful there, Captain. Hmm. What about you, Captain? What are you gonna do? Looks like you're also gonna delay. See what's going on. You're really exposed out there. Once they turn up, they could be real quick. Let's see. There is no one else in sight. So, we're still gonna do what the captain tells us to do, but this is getting kind of ridiculous. Sorry, captain. Oh, where are you going now? Oh, yeah, that's looking good. We should go back that way around. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good idea. He's still asking us to stay up here, so maybe he wants us to cover him up here. Oh, you going out there as well? Just covering the front door. Okay, that's a nice move. To make sure that the captain can get right back in. Sheldon, shoot wise. Are you delaying now? Okay. And Nero the hero with your fine yellow vest. Keep a close eye on him out there. So, oh, you going out. You gonna... You gonna join him? As far as I remember, I think... Uh, Herman Henchman has... Like, four slots in his inventory. Okay, he's covering the captain. I like this! I like it! And Howard Howler, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna take the front door now, huh? Okay. I like that. Oh, you're just taking the stairs. Oh, nice. The two of you, you're really keeping us all safe here. Oh, I like this. And a Perry's dance of 74. Nice. So, let's see. A new round has started. Okay, Teddy. See anything? No? Okay. We should watch that end. Behind us there, Teddy. Okay, let's see if he's doing anything now. He's probably the closest one. Is he just standing there? And it's my turn. I think I'm gonna go over here for a delay. Just try and see if I can assist if anyone comes around this way. But let's just see first what happens. I don't know if I've said this, but I got two shots. Let's just see here. Ah, oh, the captain, he is courageous. You could go pretty far. You should watch that if that's a trap. Oh, you delaying out there. Let's just see. I think it's safe to approach there, Mason. Taking an overwatch here for you. Let's just see here. No one else in sight right now. Ah, he's going for an overwatch. I can understand that. Let's not get greedy right away, but it is yummy, yummy, yummy down there. Okay, Teddy Toothpick. Oh, man. Our captain is really exposed out there. Ah, oh, Sheldon, I feel so secure when you're on the stairs. And Nero, keeping an eye on him. And... Oh, Dodgy Dana, you going this way around? 
Are you gonna try and lure him closer now? Oh, man. You guys are some brave dudes, I must say. I must say. Okay, let's just see here. Still no one. So, Herman, you going over here uh, to assist the captain with an ambush. Okay. I like that. But what I heard, those rats, they can, they can really ambush far. Okay. Let's keep an eye here, Captain. A new round has started. I'm gonna keep an eye on both corners, but that word stone out there, yummy, yummy. Nero the hero. See anything up there? Teddy, see anything? I mean, beside those nice clusters and shots down there. Nope, still nobody. I'm gonna delay for you here, Captain. Ready to give two shots to anyone closing in. All right, Captain, let's, let's just get this. We need it. Oh, man. Let's start big. Yeah, there's a word stone. There's a cluster. Right there. And there's a shard right there. And... The captain is probably not gonna take these. No, you see? He's not. He's not. And he's going back, yeah. Oh, to delay a bit. I see. I see. Maybe uh, Herman Henchman could uh, could take those fragments over there. Oh, there's nothing. There's nothing here. I guess they're gonna come from over here. Can I fire at anyone? Maybe from here I would be able to fire down there and down there. Let's see, this is probably the best spot right now. So an overwatch for me. And Mason, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna be waiting for Herman Henchman, I guess. Ah, oh, man, Teddy. We're just holding down this fort. Dodgy Dan, you still holding that corner? Okay. the hero you keep an eye on him you hear oh you probably miscalculated huh? so there is nothing still to see anywhere captain is gonna take an overwatch stance let's just see here Sheldon a parry stance on the stairs Herman Henchman got four free slots, and there are two fragments out there. So, let's just see. Got a, a deep buff there. It's too bad. Let's see, Herman. You better finish up that gathering down there and get back. You're going to take an ambush by the corner again? Yeah, nice. And you're holding the door as well? Nice. A new round has started. Oh, I don't see anyone. Do you see... Anything out there, Nero? Nothing? Uh, I'm looking at that cluster down there as well. Okay. So there's no more wordstone on this side. There's a shard down there. So... I'm getting ready to, to cover that as well. From my... Previous position up here. Just gonna delay again. 
Let's see if anybody's closing in. Let's see, the captain, he can't switch weapons. And he has a minus 10% melee resistance. That's a bad combo. Right there. Anyway. Maybe you should, uh, fall back then, huh, Captain? Oh, so you are joining Dodgy Dan out there. You can't switch weapons. You need to be careful, Captain. Okay, and it's my turn again. We should get to some of that word stone. But I can understand the Captain. I mean, he knows the Skaven better than I do. Teddy Toothpick is taking an Overwatch stance with me also here. Sheldon Shieldwise holding the stairs, making us all feel secure. Let's just see. Maybe you should fall a little bit back here, Dodgy Dan. Just to, you know, create a second front line here and make some space for the others. You keep a close eye on him, you hear Nero? Yeah, you do that. And Herman Henchman, you should go. Yeah, he knows. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Awesome. Where are you gonna go, Howard Howler? Are you also gonna go out here, are you? Okay. Over here. Good view. Nice. Oh, you're going into a parry stance. 77. Nice. A new round has started. Okay. You see anything, Howard? How about you, Teddy? You see anything? No? Uh. Oh, Nero, how about you? Watching him out there. And it's my turn. I'm just gonna delay once more. See what's going on down there. And it's the captain's turn. Okay, what's the captain gonna do? Oh, he's gonna go even closer. Okay. And let's wait and see, yeah. Let's just wait and see. Oh, man. Oh, man. I still don't see anyone. No one else has been spotted. Just gonna hold it there. See those gaps in the walls right down there. We're pretty far away from the captain. Yeah, Teddy, you and I, we need to be up here in Overwatch, and it's kind of frustrating that they're not closing in. And the captain is just asking us to stay up here. Oh, they're moving in slowly. Dodgy Dan is also taking a, an overwatch stance. Sheldon is taking care of us in here in case anyone should surprise us the other way or around the house or something. And so, Herman Henchman, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're going to the wall to take an ambush, I guess. Yeah, nice. Okay. So we're securing those cracks in the walls over there. Oh, and you too, Howard. Oh, you're going even closer. This is nice. It's also really risky. And you're taking an ambush here as well. That means that the big crack in the wall up ahead is open. And unguarded. A new okay. round has started. He's still up there, just standing there. He's probably waiting for us to go all the way out on the middle of the street. Okay. 
Let's see if he's closing in now, huh, Nero? Let's see. I don't care what the captain says. I want to be in on the action down there. So what's the captain gonna do? Oh, he's gonna get behind the wagon. Oh, you're standing on a trap or something? You don't care, huh? Ah, oh, that's a good spot. They can't charge straight at you there, Captain. Now, let's see. Ah, oh, man. Suspense, huh? Yeah, we didn't see anyone closing in. Oh, come on, Captain. You gotta let us join you guys. Well, we're just doing what we we're ordered to do. Okay. This is looking good. Okay, we need to keep them safe down there, Teddy. Keep them safe. We got Sheldon on the stairs. For us. And how about you, Dodgy Dan? So you're taking an overwatch with the captain, huh? Nice. the hero, you should just keep overwatching down there. And Herman Henchman, you still have two slots here. Oh, so you're moving even closer now. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good spot right there, Herman. It's a good spot. Yeah. Okay, and Howard Howler. You need to take care of these two holes here. Herman Henchman is pretty far out there. Let's A see. A new round has started. Okay. All right. What do you see? Maybe it should be Howard Howler taking those wordstone out there on the street. He should have four free slots, I think. We still see no one. This is really weird. Wonder where they are. All of a sudden, they could be swarming in on us. Those rat back. We must not underestimate them. I'm gonna delay you. So where's the captain going now? Ah, he's placing himself in front of that trap over there. Right in front of him. If anyone should charge in from that direction, they may step on it. Stop their approach. Okay. Still no one in sight. So we're just doing what the captain is telling us to do while they're slowly approaching. Those words stone out there. He's taking an overwatch. So is Teddy Toothpick. This has really turned into camping. And Nero the hero as well. And an overwatch stance. And you too, probably. Ah, you're following the captain, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're going even further. Okay. And a parry stands there. Okay. Let's see. You still have two slots here. Oh, you're going to the other side now. Ah, okay. And Howard Howler. Oh, you're going out here. I still don't see anyone, but this is risky. Howler, this is really risky. You're standing with your back to the street. You're totally cool, man. 
Oh man, how it... A new round has started. Let's just keep an eye on that piece of rat sack over there. Not sure I'm liking this. Okay, some, something's going on now. Some, he's coming there, he's coming around that way. Nice one, Teddy! You got the first blood today! Ah, uh, he's going down! That wasn't good! That was not intentional! Okay, but you... Yeah. You got a counter! Nice one, Herman! Alright, so we got a fight here. Why didn't I shoot him? Why couldn't I take him down there? I don't, I don't understand that. But the captain has asked us to stay up here, and I see why. It's a good position uh, to cover them. I, I see it. Just gonna take a delay here, but we should be able to give some range damage from down here. But oh, maybe, maybe the captain can do that together with Dodgy Dan. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, that captain never misses. Nice one, captain. Nice one. So. Let's just see. You're gonna go into an overwatch stance here to cover if anybody else comes up. That's a pretty good idea. Let's just see here. He's got 129 and Herman Henchman has 133. This is not too good. Um, but there is no one else in sight. I'm gonna stay up here like, like the captain told us to do, but I don't like the fact that I can't damage him down there. I can't help. I really want to help down there. Oh, Teddy, maybe you can provide some damage down there, huh? Oh, you got a good shot there, huh? Oh, man, that's too bad, Teddy. That's too bad. And we need to go into an overwatch stance up here, Teddy, to provide some protection from any incoming. So, Sheldon. Sheldon is leaving us here. Yeah, well. They need us more out there, I guess. Yeah, Sheldon, you... You really want to help, huh? Yeah, well, it's okay. It's... it's okay. I get it. Oh. 43% hit chance for you here. 40, 63 here. Yeah. <laughs> nice one! Nice one! And you can reload? And just end the turn there. That's a bit risky. Dodgy Dan, that's a bit risky. You're following orders well here, Nero, but I think we should maybe go to the others now. Okay, Herman Henchman, you can attack. <laughs> yes, you can. That's right. That is right. Oh, you got a 95% chance to attack again. Let's do that. <laughs> nice! Herman, that is so perfect. That is so perfect. Let's just see here. He's down to 26. 26, Herman. Oh, are you delaying? I like that. It's time to loot, isn't it? And what are you gonna do, Howard Howler? Are you going for this? Yeah, I gotta understand that. Oh, so you got you got four slots here. There may be a cluster for us to loot on that rat pack sitting on his knees right now. That's good. That was the cluster. Ah, oh, man, that was nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that movement range. You see that circle there? That one is really small. Okay. We're just gonna take this last one. We're not gonna be able to do anything else with Howard Howler this turn, huh? Oh, man. Let's just see. Plus 20% armor absorption. That's a nice one. And then he has minus two meters movement range. Hmm. 
This is two turns. This is bad. So we're not gonna take this fragment. It's just a fragment. We really need to be sure to have something to loot from, from this rat pack over here. So we'll just have to go as far as we can. Look at that ambush stance. It's just like no further than you can spit or something. Well, that's it. So we were not gonna put him down this, this round, this dude. Just gonna have to take a parry stance right here. So now let's see. Everybody's gonna pop up to try and see if they can help him. A new round has started. They may turn up somewhere. I don't see anyone. Well, let's just move this red beam right up here. Let's see. It's gonna be this guy's turn in just a minute. Ah, oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, nice one! Through the wall even, Herman. That's a new trick. You did well. And a dodge stance. Can take him out nice and slowly. He has 26 health. That's all. And I'm really thinking of jumping down there. Taking that word stone down. Yeah, look. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Jump there! You guys see that? You guys see that? Okay. I'm just gonna take a look here. There is... Oh, there's one over here. Just as I jumped down. Why couldn't I see him up there? Okay. He's pretty close. I don't like that. Right over there. And he's got some poisonous stuff. Oh, man. Anyway. I'm not gonna take that yet. I'm just... Hi there, Captain. I just figured out that you might need some assistance, right? Please tell me I'm right. So let's let's just see if we can uh, give you a shot there, right there. Ha! <laughs> nice. I'm gonna reload, and I'm gonna put myself in an Overwatch stance here because you know what, Captain? There's someone coming. A hero is coming. So let's let's see what we can do about this. Nice, Captain! Nice! Awesome! You still have one slot, so you could loot this guy. Let's see what he's got, Captain. He's got a cluster, that's good, but look at this. This is like nothing, right? Nothing. Okay. So... Let's just see. Now there are two of them. And one of them is the leader. I don't like this. I should have stayed up on the balcony. I see that now. However, we could probably fall back. I think that's what the captain is doing here. Let's go into the house again if we can make it. Right, captain? There are still two that we haven't seen. Uh-oh. Here comes another one. Did you see that, Teddy? Oh, I see him. Yeah, he's up here. And these two are coming. Either this way around, or this way around. So, let's see here, Teddy. Nah, you can't get a shot in. That's too bad. But an Overwatch stance is a good thing right there. And I guess Nero... The hero you need to come out as well. I actually think that you would be able to provide a pretty good shot. Yeah, you like that spot, right? Let's see. I hope you can get a nice shot in there. You're looking good with your yellow vest. And dodgy Dan. Let's get you a little further back. Huh? Maybe you should get around the corner. Like, like over here. If they should pop up. This is a good spot. Yeah. And Sheldon. Oh, you're running back here. To us. I like that. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> well... I exposed myself outside, but the others? Oh, you're taking an ambush. I like that. 
that. And then maybe you should see Herman and what you could take here. Yeah, well, let's just take these fragments here. A shield and a spear, that's really nothing. Ah, you can move even further, three meters now, huh? That's a lot. So maybe we should use that. Yeah. Wow, you could get really far. Ah, oh, you're covering the corner there. That's a, that's a nice move. Okay. And Howard Howler. More space. And you can hardly move anywhere. Well, that's kind of pathetic. But what an ambush. You could have used a few of those meters that Herman Henchman got. Anyway. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see. A new round has started. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you? Oh, oh, here he comes. He's he's running around for the corner. Why did why didn't any of you shoot? What's he doing? Ah. Ah. Ah, oh, that's too bad, Nero. That's too bad. Ah, he's he's also running to the corner. Ah, he's almost around the corner. I think we need to get inside. Like, real quick. I think I'm gonna take a good position up here. As far up here as I can. Maybe... Maybe I can get all the way around. I'm lucky. And I can cover the stairs from up here. Oh, this is a good spot. Right there. Okay. Let's see. Captain, how far can you get? You're going in, huh? Yeah, well, maybe I would suggest we all come in, right, Captain? Let's just see. And you trapped yourself now there, Captain. That's not good. So maybe you're going to have to stay right here. There's another one coming. Oh, that was the one over in the house. Now it's the one over in the house. He's still there. Oh, man, they're really showing up now. Ooh, there are a lot of them now. And this guy, that's the leader. He's closing in fast. Okay. And Teddy Toothpick. Ah, that's a nice spot. So if we make a little room, Nero the Hero can be here as well. Overwatch right there. That's good. And how about you? Dodgy Dan, let's see if we can get you. Ah, oh, you can't get up the stairs behind Sheldon Shieldwise either, but maybe you could be here. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. And Sheldon, what are you gonna do, huh? Ah, you're always running forward. That's what you do. That's right. That's what you do. Are you gonna take the front door? I like that. I like that. We're all gonna feel safe. And Nero, let's see. Did we leave enough space for you here? I think we did. And you can take an overwatch as well. And Herman Henchman. And you're gonna stand behind this bench. Because that's gonna lure them in. Right? And then they're gonna go into Sheldon Shieldwise's ambush. Let's see how far we can get Howard Howler. Uh, he can't be behind there, but 
he could maybe be here then, huh? This is good. So let's just see. We got everyone in. And we got them all coming for us. I like it. Ambush for you, Howler. A new round has started. Okay. What's going on? Ah, we're well positioned, but someone is doing something outside. We can hear him. Oh. Oh. What was that? Ah, that's too bad, Nero. That's too bad. Here he comes. How oh, the hell could he charge over a bench? And he's got a dagger. That's not good at all. So who's coming in next? Ah, oh, look at those red eyes. I do not like these Skaven. And here comes the leader. He's out there. He's coming in. Ah, why can't we target any of them? What's wrong with our fires? Ah, oh, nice one, Sheldon. Nice one. He's coming. Ay, that one hurt. That one hurt. Ooh, nice one, Sheldon. You're doing good with that spear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I do not like those. Look, I got three attacks. It's not a two-handed weapon. Okay, that's why. Nice job, Sheldon. Look at that dripping poison from that blade or that spear or whatever. Look. You got a little greeting from Mage Master. Nice. Okay, let's just see outside here. See this guy, he's right out here. He's gonna be able to run past those two, and Howard Howler is gonna engage on him, but this means we're all gonna be one on one. I don't like those odds. I'm gonna try and see if I can get an overwatch shot when he steps through that door. So, Captain, what are you gonna do? First of all, you should reload. How about dealing a little bit of damage to this dude? Yeah, that's nice! Ah, oh, man, that's nice! And then you should take anyone coming in through the door there, huh? Nice, Captain. He never misses. So, let's see what happens. We have been given one more turn. So, Teddy Toothpick, load your stick and stick it to him. Let's see. Ooh, nice one. Good, good, good. And you can reload and take an overwatch stance, Teddy, to stop anyone coming through that door while we chop these guys to pieces. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. And Nero, let's see. If you reload... You should take an overwatch as well. I mean, we have three shots by the door right now. So let's see, Sheldon. Let's see. So, let's see. Ah, he dodged that one. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. But you're doing good on your parry stances. Let's see. And dodgy, Dan. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, let's see. Ah, you can get him out there. Oh, he's standing right out there, and that's their, that's their hero. Okay. Maybe, maybe you should just, you know, take an overwatch here, so whoever moves gets your lead. Okay, Herman. I thought that bench would be enough. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. 35, huh? That's a good one. <laughs> 34 more. Nice. Nice. Take a parry up there. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's just do that. And and how how are you doing with um let's just see what was that 95? That's a swift charge on that guy. How about a swift charge on, on this guy? That would be nice. Yeah, yeah, go for it, Holler. Wee 62! That was a good one! And right now, you're blocking the door, so no one is going to be able to charge or anything. You, you just closed it off. Perry stands out. A hour. new round nice. has started. Okay. Okay. What is he throwing at you, Dodgy Dan? What is he throwing at you? Not poison. No way. You got stunned out there, and you got hit, Herman. You got to dodge, Herman, or Perry, or... Do something, please. 
This, this is not good. Okay, you're taking an ambush way out there. That's wise. Ah, that's good, that's good, that's good, Shatlin. Nice. Ooh, he can dodge as well. Don't, 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 don't. No, please. Oh, he, oh, I should stood your ground there, Howard. You took it well. No, God, Sigma, help us out here. Okay, listen. Getting a shot in on him would mean that we would take one of them out of action. That would be good. Guys. Ah, sorry, Howard. Ah, what am I gonna do here? I think I'm gonna have to take an Overwatch stance. Yeah. That guy's stunned out there. I don't know if he's gonna show up at the door. If he does, this guy's probably gonna be dead by then. Ah, let's see. Yeah, let's just, let's, let's see. Let's see. There's a 94% chance. Okay, Captain, let's just see here. This guy's got 20. This guy's got 135. This guy out here, he's, he's stunned. Ah, maybe he's an easy target, huh? Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. And then you could probably just, you know, stretch this point a bit and you can reload. Yeah, and then you could, uh, you could be up here. That would be a good spot for an overwatch stance right there. Yeah, let's take an overwatch there and see what happens here. So the enemy is getting to his feet out there. Is that him? No. No, something's going on down there. Let's just see. And you, Teddy, can you get a shot in on him? Yeah, that was a good one, Teddy. Nice one. Nice one. And then you should cover the door, I think. Yeah, let's cover the door, Teddy. Yeah, nice. Nice. And, and let's just take a look. What's happened to you, Dodgy Dan? You, you have wither. Even though it looks as if you're poisoned, this is some magic stuff. Well, that's lucky for you, because that would be a bad belly right there if you, if you were looking like that. Let's just see here. You're like quarter to half covered. Yeah, we need to take him out. He's a hero. He has a... A big impact on, on morale, so. Ooh, that's a nice one. Nice one. Okay. But you could, you could reload. Yes. And, and then you could, uh, you can actually switch weapons. But that's not what you're gonna do now. You're gonna go into a dodge stance of zero percent. Well. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see, Sheldon. Could you take care of this dude? Oh, he's dodging too well. I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, um, how about, how about we do, we do it this way? Yeah! Yep, that's exactly what I was gonna ask you to do. Let's see, Sheldon, you, you don't have anything in your Luggage. Oh, look at these good things. Man, the captain's gonna love you for this. Now that war block pistol there, it's gonna be worth a lot of gold. More than, than one word stone here. And the word stone is gonna stay. We can't get past any of those guys right now. You trapped right there by the door. But that doesn't matter, I guess. You are gonna go into a parry stand right here in the corner. And Nero, how can you assist here? Oh, you could do some damage to him from here. That's good. Yeah, that's a good shot, that one. Wow, that must be the yellow vest, huh? Assisting you with that? Oh, that was nice. But you're standing right in front of the window, so let's let's just move you a little bit to the side here. Reload there, Nero. Awesome. A 
Okay. And Herman. Give it to him, huh? He's got 69. Ah, he's a dodger as well. I don't like that dodging thing. Okay. But just... Yeah, that's it. That's it. 32. I like that. I like that. Wait a minute. Howard Howler can do some serious damage as well. So, would you just delay, Herman? Delay. And let's see. Let's just see here. See, uh, Howard Howler, maybe, maybe you could, uh, you can loot. So you can take this last one, because you've got a full inventory as well. Okay. And then... Can, can you do some damage to this guy? As well? Then let's see. Yeah, well done, Howard Howler! The round is ending right now, and and if this guy's got blue gear, he does not. But what he does have is a shard. That's better than a fragment. But these things, a shield, a dagger, and a shuriken, they're gonna get lost. They're not worth much. So, let's see how much Herman can loot out of that. And you should, you should, um... See, Sheldon is in a parry stance. We should delay this, this giant here. So you guys, you guys, you should swap places, you know? Okay, how much have you got? Ah, uh, you fool. Ah, uh, you can't take any. Okay, Herman. And um, then you should probably just get away, huh? You, you could go over here. Uh, maybe up here. Ah, uh, you could just stand here. Then, in a pair of stands of 61. Okay. I can see their morale is, uh, 44 to 44. The red bar up in the left corner. And Howard Howler, you should just, you know, go over here in an ambush stance by the door. Nice. Yeah. You are gonna end this round. A new round has started. And here comes the hero. Oh, nice shot, Teddy. What, what, what you doing? What the? Oh, you taking that, that... You're going into an ambush stance. That's kind of weird, isn't it? So someone else is coming. Whee! He dodged it. Whee! Well done, Howard! Well done! Okay, so we got another dude down there. So let, let's see. This guy, you need to taste some of this. Yeah, nice. This time, I'm not taking an overwatch. This time, we're dealing damage. We're dealing damage. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm just going to reload. Actually, I should probably get into a new position down here. This spot would be good. Maybe over here even. Yeah. This spot is better. This spot is really good. Nice. Let's just see. This guy has 97. He's not engaged, so oh, here is a good shot percentage. Huh? Uh, 38 less now. Ah, uh, I like that. Nice one, Captain. You never miss. This is so good. So, oh, you, oh, you're going for another shot. Wee, 28. You're really doing some good damage right now. You're switching weapons, are you? Okay. Okay. Oh, and a 95% parry stance. That's good, Captain. That's really good. Oh, what's going on now? Oh, and Teddy Toothpick. Can you, can you maybe take that nasty looking dude down? Ooh, that is a good percentage. Wee, 22! Nice! Really nice. Oh, man. 
You got a 95% chance? Oh, he's got nine life left. Let's just see. We, you did it, Danny! You took him out of action! Ha <laughs> ha, that's good. You can't reload or anything. You might as well just take a dodge stance. Okay. And Sheldon, I okay. So, uh, let's just see if I can... Can I get past him? I could. He could. Okay. Let's just see if we can engage this guy. And maybe we can make him fail his all alone test. I don't, I don't know. So we, we should probably take you into a parry stand. Yes? That's good. And Nero the hero. Let's just see. Oh, you could, you, you could still get a good percentage. Give it a go, Nero. Wee, that was a good shot. 37. Nice. Nice. You should take a dodge, yeah. Okay. Nice one, Nero the hero. Nice one. And dodgy, Dan. How about if you could... Ah, oh, you can't... You just can't get that way around. Okay, let's see. Can we get this way around? You can. Because if you could go and take that, you really should not engage. Ooh, that was close. I did not like that. Let's just see here. There's a, there's a loot right there with a nice spear. Okay, you got the good quality blue spear. Awesome. And that means that you could, if you get, you could you get on the other side of this table chest thing right back here? Whoa. You could get over here, that's good. And you could actually fire. Yeah, an overwatch is probably better. That's good. That's good. And let's see here. See, they're gonna have to go for a route test now. And Herman Henchman, you don't have too much health. So maybe you should just place yourself up here and switch weapons. Yeah, like that. Awesome. And an Overwatch stance for you. Perfect. And let's see. Howard Howler. Let's just see. Give him some. Yeah, that's nice. Nice. 65. I like that. Give him some more if you can, right? Oh, 54 more. Oh, that was a good one. I mean, wow. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens now. A new round has started. They failed! Ah! We won! Oh, yeah! And now, we approach the sweet moment. Returning from battle in one piece is always a sweet moment. But it is also the moment where we discover the newfound skills and the spoils of war, and we receive advancements and experience and better gear. And today, of course, we can fully enjoy the battle tales of yet another strategically superior and glorious victory for the Firing Squad. Let's share that sweet moment together in tomorrow's episode of... Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into... Vortheim, the city of the damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below, and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks, and have a nice day.